Hey everyone, I am very excited to have partnered with Sail, my favorite fishing and outdoor store here in Canada to bring you today's video. I've been a customer and a huge fan of Sail for years. Um, I actually used to work at the Ottawa, Ontario location in the fishing department at one point and I had the opportunity to meet a lot of great customers and I had great coworkers as well. The Ottawa location is hosting a big sale from September 2nd to 13th with discounts throughout various categories in the store. They're also hosting a big contest with over $5,000 in prizes to be won. So if you're in the Ottawa area, head on over to sale in the train yards for all the details. And I'll also include a link in the description below to the sale website. So I'm out aboard my boat today on a solo adventure and I'm going to be targeting largemouth and smallmouth bass, but the lake I'm fishing on has a lot of other species as well. Uh, the wind is low this morning, but it will be picking up this afternoon, so I'm hoping to get out there and uh, beat the wind a bit. Uh, it's going to be a great day on the water. I'm looking forward to seeing what I can catch. presentations on deck here to start with and who knows where the day will take me and maybe uh, there may be a lot more rods on the deck later on um, but starting off I've got my chatterbait set up here I've got a jig got my net rig and also a drop shot and I will be sure to include all the details rod reel line in the description below for each of these presentations are coming up nicely now. bit of slack there and my hook set was not too good but that was a decent large mouth and a good sign all right so I missed one fish on the chatterbait here just kept covering the area this is a, a lead point that comes out and uh, nothing didn't pick anything up in my other cast so I'm just gonna switch to a jig now and get right into these weeds here and see if I can pull a bass out Nice one over this side. <laughs> Get in the net. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's nice when things come together like that. It's a good start. <laughs> right on. There. You know, the previous cast, I thought I felt a bit of a tick. This guy definitely ate it. <laughs> Whoa, very frisky. Okay, going back. There we go. Awesome. All right, well, nothing much happening with the jig now. So I'm gonna switch back to the chatterbait. And cover some water. Well, there we go. Weeds are starting to come up again. Right here. Which is just what I'm looking for. Oh, there we go. Oh. 
Well, it's a pike. <laughs> All right. Get this guy in the net. Figured I'd pick up some pike today. Off a little uh, rocky point here. There's a bit of weeds that come out. Oh, <laughs> come around. Picked up a largey little guy. Nice. There we go. So uh, you can probably see rocks up there, and then there's a bit of some weed clumps out here. So I'm just kind of cruising around with the chatterbait, trying to weave my way through those clumps. And that's where that guy came from. Gotcha. Oh, what do I have here? Pike. Not a bass. But a nice little pike. Ooh. Come on, get in the net. There we go. Out. Oh, he's already unhooked. Perfect. There we go. Not a bad little guy. And that was on the jig. Just gonna check my line now. Looks good. So we're getting later into the summer. It is uh, early September when I'm out here filming this. And uh, one thing I love to do for a largemouth this time of year is fish deeper weed lines. So I'm fishing in about eight to 10 feet of water. I'm looking around, I'm using my live scope to find those nice weeds. And uh, I'll throw my chatterbait around a bit, cover some water, and then once I start seeing some good clumps, then I'll uh, pull out my jig and start working those weed clumps. awesome with Garmin live scope so I see a clump right here and I cast it down and I could see my jig fall right into it it's very handy so that's what I'm trying to target is those clumps like you know I'll do blind casts and just kind of cast around when there's tons of weeds but when I see a nice clump I try to get right into it that wind is kicking up We go oh my gosh <gasps> holy cow wow <sighs> huge smiley huge smiley get in the net yes oh my goodness that fish hit twice wow <laughs> oh it hit kind of missed and then hit it again but i still had some slack in my line wow <laughs> that is a nice smiley just kind of tucked in here because uh, the wind has really kicked up. 
and uh, oh, I'm really glad I did. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna send this guy back and keep fishing. Well. <laughs> so there's a good amount of weeds out here. I'm about like seven or eight feet of water. And then it goes right up shallow. There's rock shoals. And uh, I'm just hanging out on the outside here, casting up towards the shoals. And that's where I picked up that smallie. So it's, it's a really nice mix here. Good solid line of weeds and then it changes to rock, so. I was expecting more to pick up largies out here, but that was a very nice surprise. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Uh, what do I got this time? Oh, a big pike. <laughs> Wowzer. There we go. Nice. And he unhooked himself. Perfect. It's been a mix of fish today. Don't mind getting the odd pike in there as well. Back you go. All right, we're still good here. Well, no we're not. That pike put a couple nicks in my line, so I'm just gonna retie. Okay, all retied, good to go. All right, so I've kind of tucked in behind an island here in hopes there's some fish. It's getting real windy out here today. So this island has a bit of a steeper drop here, but I'm just gonna kind of check it out. I don't think I've fished here before. Just wanna see what we've got. Let me actually throw my net rig as I work my way up. I see a few fish there. I think in their panfish. That's what it feels like. Let me see. Oh, nice bluegill. There are some beautiful, there are some beautiful bluegills in this lake. There we go. Nice little guy. Today has become quite a multi-species day. Bass was the target. Got some largemouth, got a nice smallmouth, pike, bluegill. I do not mind at all. Oh, that was just, got it. Nice. Oh, we got a bass. Nice largey. Oh no, sorry, smally. I thought it was a largey. Another smally on the chatterbait today. Come on. <laughs> Get in the net. There we go. Little smally. <laughs> These guys are a blast. There's another one. Oh, missed. There, we got him that time. <laughs> wow. What do we have here? I think we got a good. Whoa. Nice large mouth. Oh, geez. There we go. Got him. Oh. Wow. That is a nice one. 
chatterbait's doing well for me today. This is a real nice fish. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. This is probably my best fish of the day right here. Nice, nice large mouth. Okay, it's been a great day. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna spend out here, but if I end it off with this guy, I'll be real happy. Okay, back you go. <laughs> I love those shakes you get from fish like that. Whew, awesome. So I'm seeing decent weeds in this area. I'm mainly tucked in here to get out of the wind. Um, it's pretty sporadic and the weeds aren't very tall, but I figured I'd check it out anyway and throw a few casts and uh, real, I'm real glad I did. Well, that ended up being it for my adventure today is it got really, really windy out. So I'm back in the truck, I'm all packed up, ready to head home. And uh, you know, I had an awesome day. I set out for bass and ended up catching some other species as well. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to Sail for partnering with me on this video. And also thanks to you guys for joining me on this adventure. I have a few videos to get caught up on editing, so you will be seeing more from me soon. Uh, and as always, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you have any thoughts or questions. I will see you guys very soon.